Right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Courtney, and I am one of the maids of honor and the big sister to the bride. I'm excited to be standing up here and finally speaking on my little sister's wedding day. Um, when Ray told us that he wanted to propose over a year ago, I was excited, but of course had flashbacks to us as little kids. Um, Shelby and I became pretty much a sister team uh, the moment she was born. Uh, I walked around the hospital with a t-shirt that said, I'm a big sister now, so I was very excited. Uh, and even though she was my little sister, I used to make her do things first, just to make sure nothing would happen to me. <laughs> uh, for example, when we were little, our parents got us a swing set that had a slide on it. Uh, I wasn't sure what I thought about the slide, so I had Shelby go down first. Um, after I saw that she lived and was okay, um, I took my turn and went down. <laughs> we were a team. <laughs> but she always went first. <laughs> <laughs> when our little sister Taylor was born, we formed the Three Wills Girls, as everyone in our family has called us. Even with having three of us, Shelby and I went through college and school together as a sister team. We dealt with high school, college, sorority life, college exams, and all of the unanswered questions that come with the college experience and growing up. But through it all, we stuck together. No matter how bad we fought, or how annoyed we were with each other, we always found our way back to our sister's couch or in each other's beds talking about the new drama that was happening. I have learned over the years there's no better connection than the one you have with your sister. Sorry, Ray. I'll get to it. <laughs> Shelby will always be my little sister, and although our relationship has changed over the years, I will always find a spot on our couch to talk about what is happening. I'll get through this, I promise. The day I got married, our sister team added a new member, and today we get another one. We are no longer the Three Wills girls, we are now the Five Wills kids. <laughs> so Ray, I'm officially welcoming you into our circle. <laughs> When I first heard that Ray was coming home for Thanksgiving of 2013, I wasn't sure what I thought about Shelby bringing her new boyfriend to Thanksgiving. I'm pretty sure the first comments to my mom were, great, I hope he doesn't ruin the, the holiday. <laughs> uh, I, had no, <laughs> uh, I had no idea I was going to meet the guy that I wanted my sister to be with. I got home on Wednesday night and I didn't get a chance to meet Ray, but I was very curious. The next morning, Ray came up the stairs, and I started talking with him. Before I got too far into my conversation with him, he said, hang on, I need to go out to my car. I said, why? And Ray responded, to get my car milk. <laughs> That's right, he went out to his car, and he came back in with a gallon of milk. <laughs> and yes, this was the first time that I met him. <laughs> So, Ray, I give you the first present as an official member of our family, wedding milk. <laughs> but I can't bend over. <laughs> as Ray was around our family, Shelby changed. We always used to portray Shelby's world with sunshine and rainbows because she was the peacemaker out of the three of us. When Ray walked into Shelby's world, she was happier, calm, excited about life, and just oh wow, well, well, spot. And just overall so happy. I could see the change. I could see the change in Shelby, and knew Ray was the reason. The more Ray was around our family, the more he fit in. So when he asked for a pose to Shelby, none of our family hesitated. As my mother says, our family needed a Ray. Ray, I am excited to finally have a brother. I know you will take good care of my sister. She's not always easy. <laughs> but I know she loves you. <laughs> I know you will make a strong team with her and get through all of life's struggles together as husband and wife. <laughs> Shelby and Ray, I wish you both a lifetime of happiness and love. I hope that you hold on to the wonderful moments of marriage and learn to work through the difficult ones. The journey you two have started today is meant to last a lifetime. 
which means you will learn good and bad about each other every day, but no matter what, you will continue to fall in love. <laughs> I hope that your love grows with every new experience you have together as a couple. So while everyone raise your glass, <laughs> To Shelby and Ray, may you always remember to put your marriage first above all else. She nailed it. Let's hear it for Courtney Newell. Next up, maid of honor, Taylor Wills. Yes, Taylor. Hello, adoring fans. So, uh, wow. With these two, um, I remember when these two got engaged. Uh, the reaction from friends and family was, of course, one of joy and celebration. These two had found the person that they wanted to spend the rest of their life with. But there was also a little bit of, they're so young, are they crazy? <laughs> and I'll admit, I was a little concerned too. Um, however, I've had the privilege of watching Shelby and Ray's relationship grow and mature during their engagement, and there's no doubt in my mind that they are perfect together. No matter, I'm not crying, I'm just nervous, it's a shaky voice. Um, <laughs> no matter what the situation, how difficult or easy, they face it together. They are a team, and they are always in each other's corner. They look to each other for support when the going gets tough, and they share in each other's happiness as if it were their own. It makes me so happy to know. Okay, now I'm crying. <laughs> um, it makes me so happy to know that Shelby is starting a life with her best friend, and I know it will be one filled with all of the happiness and love that they both deserve. I'm not even pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I love my Shelby to the moon and back. And I never thought anyone would be good enough for her. But Ray is. Um, <laughs> I never thought that anyone could make her as happy as she deserves to be. But Ray does. Um, and I realized... <laughs> thank you. Glenn, what's up? Um, <laughs> and I realized last year, sitting on a rock on the shore of Lake Michigan, watching Shelby light up, as she showed me and everyone there her ring <laughs> and for the thousandth time <laughs> or told me something about Ray for the thousandth time um, <laughs> that she was not too young for this and she had not rushed into anything she and Ray had simply found the person that they'd always been looking for and they couldn't wait to start their life together and that is really something special um, so my advice to you on your wedding day First and foremost, be careful in Greece, am I right? I mean, for real. Like, just be aware. Exactly. Don't barter your Yeah, yeah, learn to barter. No, um, screw up. No, definitely barter. No. But more importantly, um, stay young and crazy in love. Um, choose each other every day and always remember how lucky you are to share your life with your best friend. I can't wait to hear all about your adventures together. I love you, Shelby Bircher, or something like that. Aww. Let's hear it for Taylor. Will is the maid of honor. And now we got us a two for one. 